What's up guys, Nature from Protoculture and welcome back to this two-part course on how to use Cubase 9.5. This is a two-part series consisting of two levels. The course is aimed at beginners, so if you're new to producing or looking to migrate to or start using Cubase for the first time, then you're in the right place. Uh, in this level two course, We'll be continuing with our track we made in level 1, but exploring some more complex tools for mixing in Cubase. We're going to start up setting up our uh, bus groups and send effects before diving into some dynamics processing, a little bit of theory on compression, uh, setting up our sidechain compression, and using various tools to achieve a wide and um, stereo mix. We'll look at Cubase's audio editing and render in place functionality before highlighting some of Cubase's plugins uh, like Quadrifuzz version 2 and the rather excellent Frequency EQ plugin. Uh, we'll take a look at VCA faders before learning how to export stems and then finally master our track for release or playing in the clubs or what have you. Remember, we'll only be using stock plugins shipped with Cubase, so all you need is your copy of Cubase 9.5, plus the included project files and samples to follow along with me. Right, I'm just going to let the track play out in the background. Um, this is what we'll be working to achieve. Hope you guys enjoy the tutorial, and I'll catch you in the first lesson. Take care. Thanks everybody for watching, commenting and indeed liking. We really do appreciate all the support we get here on our Sonic Academy YouTube channel. So if you find this video super useful, please, we'd love you to hit the subscribe button. We update the uh, YouTube channel every week with new content. And if you want to watch some more relevant content, just click on the videos beside me.